in this uh, video i'm going to demonstrate how this uh, super heterodyne receiver works uh, super heterodyne receiver it is one of the most familiar receiver it is going to be used in most of the receivers uh, many receivers already this super heterodyne receiver is used it may be satellite receiver or any such receivers uh, this super heterodyne receiver is used okay how this super heterodyne it works so we will see the important blocks in this super heterodyne receiver uh, the first one is antenna uh, usually this will picks up the signal and uh, initially we have an rf amplifier usually it is called as a low noise amplifier then there is a mixer okay for this there are two inputs one is this rf amplifier output another one is a local oscillator output and output is the uh, frequency it is called as a intermediate frequency after that we have a amplifier with filter amplifier with filter select so usually two to three stage of the if amplifier means whatever this frequency is output comes so that will be get amplified and any unwanted frequency will be further removed by uh, this if amplifier usually two to three stage uh, this if amplifier then after this output of this if amplifier is going to be given to the demodulator uh, demodulator output is a original message signal so that is again it is get amplified and given to the speaker and part of the output is taken back and this is the this output is is called as a uh, we have uh, one circuit here it is called as a automatic gain control so that will be given to these if stages we will see one by one how each blocks are works and we know that all receivers uh, for example a and fm so I'm only I'm going to take the, this is the spectrum of the our uh, communication range AM, short radio, VHF and FM. So we will see this AM. AM, for example, it is around 540 to 1600 kilohertz. This is the bandwidth allocated for AM broadcasting. And usually AM, okay, each channel or each band, uh, each will be uh, going to occupy 10 kilohertz. This is the bandwidth of the one channel or one carrier signal after modulation it is going to be occupied like uh, this this 1600 minus 540 divided by 10 we have done then total possible uh, bands are or channels are 106 similarly uh, 88 to 108 megahertz and 200 divided by this 188 minus 88 then 100 bands will be available means each band it is going to means receiver has to tune for all these carrier frequency look at the range here it has to means i want to tune for channel one two three so all the channels receiver has to tune okay means it has to work for a all receivers should work for a am receivers should work for a 540 to 1600 similarly fm while coming to the fm receiver it has to work for a this means the receiver has to tune in such a way that it has to uh, demodulator these signals yeah uh, coming to this uh, yeah then while what what is why this how this super heterodyne this receiver is very very important means antenna and rf amplifier they have to tune for all such frequencies all such signal means antenna simply will picks up the signal and get amplified here then here we are going to tune what channel we want channel one channel two channel three so that will be done by a this local oscillator and this is a if stage what this if stage what are all the circuit here usually these are the tuned circuit here so look at this okay then tuned circuit one transistor amplifier capacitor means this this is the in this case it is a three stage if amplifier is there okay there are two three inductors and two amplifier okay? means almost it is a three stage if amplifier we will see uh, main blocks are rf amplifier mixer and local oscillator and uh, coming to the if amplifier this if amplifier stage demodulator and output part of that output is taken and it is called as a automatic gain control we will see one by one okay so i said so that you, this this has to tune for 535 to 1605 for am and uh, while coming to the fm 88 means the receiver has to work for all these frequencies yeah if amplifier what is this five if amplifier 
sorry, RF amplifier. The antenna picks up the signal. Usually, it is very, very weak in terms of microvolts. So, it, this should be amplified immediately after receiving signal. So, this amplifier will do. And it is designed to work with, for example, AM. It has to amplify with this range. For FM, it has to uh, work for this range. It means it has to amplify and give to the mixer. It means it is simply amplifier. Usually, two to three stages of a amplifier are there. And this uh, RF signal is also called as a, whatever the RF amplifier is also called as a low noise amplifier, LNA. Next, come to the, what this local oscillator and mixer will do. So, local oscillator will go on generating the carrier frequency. Local oscillator, okay, it is a frequency. It is an oscillator. It generates different frequencies. When we start tuning, the output will be, uh, it is a fixed frequency. Usually, IF frequency is a fixed frequency, 455. Local oscillator, any varactor or any crystal oscillator. The so only thing is it is a variable one. So we go on, when we go on vary, then it is going to be select a different carrier, different signals here. The mixer, what actually mixer input? One is the input signal, another is the local oscillator. And output is a fixed frequency. Usually it is a fixed frequency. It is called as an intermediate frequency. That is a 455 kilohertz. Usually it is the difference of the local oscillator and this RF stage amplifier, that is F0, IF means received frequency. These difference will be of a IF. Means it will down convert, means whatever the ranges, for example, 535 to 1060, whatever the range it is received, finally the signal will be down converted, okay, this, this is going to be down converted to 450 kilo. There are a lot of advantages for a fixed frequency. Means designing an amplifier for fixed frequency, it is an easiest task and it should, means it is automatically going to be work for only this 455 kilo. Otherwise, this IF stage also has to work for uh, these different frequencies. Then it is very difficult to get the gain here. So, getting the gain for a fixed frequency, it is easy. So, that's why uh, this in this IF amplifier, so this, this will converted this 455 kilohertz will be get amplified any unwanted signal will be filtered and that output will be given to the d mod means what is the output of the fif this is the difference between the local oscillator and rf amplifier output. and if amplifier so this this if amplifier it is a three stages if amplifier it amplifies the signal usually it is a fixed signal it is going to be get amplified uh, because of the fixed IF frequency, it is easier to design and get a good selectivity. The, that is the reason it is down converted and amplified. Next comes to the demodulator. The highly amplified signal, now it is demodulated. Demodulator may be any demodulator, AM1, a diode detector, a different demodulator circuit based on that. It may be is it AM or FM. So it de demodulates. It means here, what is the input here? It is a 455 kilohertz signal. Whatever the channel it is tuned, but this output is a fixed one, 455 kilohertz. It is going to be demodulated here. Demodulated output is a, our message signal. The output is fed to an audio amplifier with a subsequent gain. Okay? And also part of that will be taken back to the AGC here. What that AGC will do? What actually AGC will do? Uh, the amplitude of the RF signal means usually this signal is fraction of a micro volts. And uh, the AGC what actually it generates? It generates a DC voltage here. This is a DC volt. So what is the difficulty here? This is in terms of micro volts. It varies, okay. It is a vary from micro volt to thousand micro volts. It is not a fixed one. Based on the signal strength, it go on varying, okay. But at the speaker side, that should not vary. It should produce a fixed output power. When we go on, if it is gone vary, here also output varies. That is not good for audible range. Hence, we need a constant output. So, we need a constant output of this demodulate. So, that's why the AGC circuit will generate a DC voltage from the, the AGC. The overall gain of the receiver automatically adjusted depending on the input signal, depending on the input signal. If the demodulator output is very high, 
AGC circuits are uh, DC voltage and this will controls or reduces the gain. If it is high, it reduces the gain. If it is high, if the demodulator is very low, AGC circuit produces smaller DC voltages and increase the gain of the IF map. In this way, AGC circuit works. Final audio amplifier, the modulator fed to the audio amplifier, which amplifies the required level. Using, usually, this is the power amplifier stage. It has a power. This amplifier signal is uh, fed to the loudspeaker. So, in this way, this, this works. Super so, receiver works.